Hey everybody. So today I'm going to be talking about shooting indoor track and field and the gear that I use and what I look for when I'm shooting. So first off, the gear that I use is the same gear I use for my weddings and that is two Canon R6s. One, I usually have the 70 to 200 f2.8 mounted on it. And the second body, I normally have my Sigma 24 millimeter f1.4. Now I primarily shoot with the 70 to 200, but occasionally a wide angle comes in really handy for some new angles or for some close-ups um, when the 70 to 200 might be a little too long like after the race at the finish line, um, when the runners walk off the track, or if there's like a group of the team together and the 70 millimeter or 200 millimeter is too tight. Um, so I always like to carry something wider. Um, and so the 24 comes in really handy for that to fit in more than one person um, after or before event or whatever it may be, a trophy presentation um, it's just kind of a nice nice uh, backup to have so like I said I primarily shoot with the 70 to 200 but occasionally I'll swing that second body around and grab something with the wide angle now to get into some specific details I start off with face detection and eye detection for my autofocus method um, I find that most um, events in indoor track and field it works perfectly fine it comes in really handy when they're moving super fast because once you lock on them and you keep that shutter half pressed it usually does not ever leave them so when they are running and then pull vaulting up or jumping over high jump or long jump you're not going to lose that autofocus because it's going to jump from their head their face their eye to their torso and you're going to keep them nice and sharp so it comes in really handy for those fast action jerky movement um, events that are in indoor, indoor track and field now occasionally i'll jump to a um, expand af it kind of has one square in the middle and then four little squares around it and it kind of covers that area and that comes in handy when like shooting hurdles um, usually I have a specific racer that I'm watching so I'll figure out what lane they're in and I'll pre-focus on one of the hurdles um, midway through the race and if I see that I might have missed it or something I have enough time to get another angle by zooming out to a little wider and picking their next hurdle or the hurdle that's two hurdles down. Um, I kind of plan in case I miss it because it's a one shot thing. If you miss it, you miss it. Um, and you won't catch them until the following track meet, which could be weeks away or could be never because it could be their final race. So um, I usually stick to that because the IAF sometimes will jump when there's more than one person in the frame. And I just don't want to take that shot. So I've always found just pre-focusing on one of the hurdles and waiting for it and bursting before and after has always worked for me. So um, when having the wide angle, some shots I look for are doing some um, drag shutters when they're running by. So going with a slower shutter speed and kind of dragging the camera with them from side to side as they run by. And um, so panning with them can give that blurry effect, but have them sharp. Um, this does take a little trial and error as you want to get them sharp, but you also want to show the action. So they're slightly going to be um, unsharp in areas and blurry in other areas like their feet and their arms. And so it's kind of one of those things that you, um, if you hit it, you hit it and it's really awesome. If you miss it, you miss it. Um, so it's always one of those things I look for towards the end of the day because they have longer race events so they're doing like four five six laps um, so I'm able to kind of like focus on one area and kind of keep trying it throughout the race and I can also make sure I get that one photo of them running um, because there's multiple laps so it's 
one of those things where you know when you can do it and you know that you need to get your assignment done. So you get the shot that you need and then you can experiment the rest of the race. I really love using it for some super wide angle shots like on pole vault or if you can get a good angle on the long jump, um, getting nice and low and like shooting up as they're jumping. It kind of adds like a new aspect to the photo instead of like a 70 to 200 tight shot. So I've been experimenting with that over the past few years and I've really loved some of the shots I've gotten with this 24 millimeter and even getting it on the curve of the track and getting multiple racers, you know, sprinting by and showing the true action of how fast they are running. Um, a wide angle can really add a new look to the mix of your photos that you're going to be turning in or that you're just capturing for your portfolio, whatever it may be. So having those two separate lenses with two different focal lengths um, and two completely different looks can really add to your album or your portfolio that you're turning in or submitting to a team or a newspaper, whatever it may be. So this is some of the things that I do and use. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. You can see some of my work on Instagram at DL Sports. I'll put the link in the description. And until next time, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.